like I'm gonna start bawling. I literally was just sitting here thinking about how I need to go wash my face and get ready because I'm sure Epps is gonna be home any minute now. Guys, when I tell you I can sit down and lose an hour of my life and not know where it went or not had done anything productive, I fucking mean it. I just ended my last vlog. It's uploading right now and Watcher posted an update. They posted an update saying that they're not leaving YouTube. They're just gonna have their platform be like early access to their video. I feel like I'm gonna fucking throw up. I feel like I'm gonna fucking throw up or piss. I don't know. Both, maybe, I don't know. I'm really happy that they listened to everyone when they said like, this is a bad fucking move. <sighs> but what if I did cry? So the reason that I actually pulled out my camera to sit here and film was I have been waiting around. It's like, I think it's close to two at this point. It's 1.30. Um, I have been sitting here waiting around for hours to get my YouTube pay, right? And it hasn't gone through. Usually it goes through by like 11.30 or noon and it hadn't gone through. So I get on the YouTube app and I look and I'm not getting paid this month. I'm not getting paid this month. I have every fucking regret in me that I deleted so much footage from the vlog that I just uploaded. Because guys, when I tell you, I'm not paid enough to give that many shits. I'm not. Like if I want to sit here and talk about anime and sims, I'm going to fucking do it. I am here for the people that watch me to fall asleep, the people that watch me to laugh, the people that watch me for inspiration when I'm doing my makeup, and I'm gonna do what I want because they don't fucking pay me enough to not. You know what I mean? I'm sorry if a five minute rant about anime bores you, but guys, I, I, I am just, I can't give a shit enough. To just not be myself. I just can't give a shit enough to just not be myself. I'm not paid well enough to be fake. You know what? I'm not paid well enough to severely delude myself down. That's a better way to put it. I'm, I'm not. I regret deleting as much of my last vlog as I did. I'm pissed. All right, though, I like seriously, seriously have to wash my face and stuff and pee and get ready because Epps is going to be home soon. And I'm also thinking about making myself some food because I'm a little bit hungry. And I'm sick of rotting in this fucking room. Up there. So that that's what we we chose to bring, huh? <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Mm-hmm. We're not gonna think anything of it. It's not an oak.
gotta be hatching. I think. I yeah, I think so. Egg. 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 This is a wet brush for anyone that wants to get mouthy. <sighs> right after brushing my teeth. I have a pap in less than two hours. <laughs> I have to be there in less than two hours. And um, as I was getting dressed, I realized that I didn't shave my legs. But I'm just going to tell myself, uh, this isn't the leg hair doctor. I did shave my armpits and wash my ass, so. <laughs> what else do you want from me? I used my bi-monthly uh, armpit shearing just for you, babe. I am quite literally a sneeze away from the starting May period and I'm scared to death. Do I know that factually? Do I have that on a calendar? No, because I don't have birth control right now. I haven't had it in probably going on two months. It's been over a month at this point. I don't, ha I don't have it in writing, but bitch, I fucking feel it. I'm fucking feeling it, Mr. Crab. I have been living in dread for the last week. <laughs> the last week that I'm going to sneeze and there she's going to fucking blow. Like I, <laughs> I had to wait two months for this appointment. So I would really rather not have to reschedule it. I guess my doctor is on the verge of retirement. So he is only working two days a week. That's why it took so long to get into this appointment. Um... <laughs> I just, need, I just need to hold on for a little bit longer. I woke up this morning. You know how, like, when you know, you know. When you know, you know. You, when you know, you fucking know. It's happening today. I fucking know it's happening today. I woke up, I opened my eyes, and I was like, please, please. I didn't have time to worry about my hair, bitch. I should have made time. Uh, I barely remembered to put on deodorant right before I walked out the door. Uh, oh my God, I hate looking at myself in natural lighting. It's fine. Uh, I barely remembered to put on deodorant before I walked out the door. And then I have on socks that don't match. Now tell me why every time you go to the gynecologist and your socks don't match or your pedicure is chipped or whatever, it's so fucking awkward. Like they don't care. They're not the sock doctor. They're not the pedicure doctor. But it's so fucking awkward every time. <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry, I just, I can't fucking breathe. I actually think that I might have to use my short acting inhaler. I just put in some leave-in conditioner and pulled my hair back because I have a meeting to go to in a little bit and I'm going to put on a wig. But listen, guys, my appointment did not go the way that I thought it was going to at all. And also, I don't remember washing my hair when I was in the shower. Like I, like I literally got home and I was like, why the hell is my hair so greasy? I don't have any recollection of washing my hair while I was in the shower. I got my hair wet, but I remember being very, very focused on washing my body because I was getting an exam and I didn't want to stink, but I don't remember actually like washing my hair. And I, I and the thing with me, bitch, is like my hair cannot get wet or it gets greasy. And that's exactly what happens. So I just put some leave-in conditioner in it and I'm just going to put on a wig. I, just, I don't care to deal with it right now. I'm so tired right now. I just don't care to deal with it. Listen, Wednesday got a bath last night. And she was shaking like a fucking leaf. But she was mad at Epps because Epps is the one that gave her a bath. So she was snuggled up with me. I had us a little fort built. I had two blankets, three pillows, and a hoodie. And we were all like, we had like a, a little like fort built on the bed so that she could warm up. And I was up with her really late just snuggling her because she's old. She's old and she's a chihuahua and chihuahuas are like really susceptible to getting cold. So I'm paying for it like greatly, deeply fucking paying for it today. I have a meeting at two and I just wish that I could lay down and take a nap, but I'm absolutely terrified that I'm going to like fall into a deep sleep and then have to wake up and then like be missing an eyebrow or something and not have time to fix it. Oh my God, that would be my luck. So let's talk about this appointment that I had. Let's talk about this fucking gynecologist appointment that I had. It did not go the way that I thought it was going to go in the absolute least bit, bitch. It did not. Um, first of all, I didn't get a pap smear. I did get an exam. Like, I did get an exam, um, but I did not get a pap. Because guess what? They changed the guidelines to where you only are supposed to get one every three years now. And the nurse was like, fun fact... We're not supposed to do PAPs on people under the age of 24 now because your body your body naturally fights off HPV, apparently, and uh, people under the age of 24 get abnormal PAPs left and right, and it's not actually like the cancerous strain. So she's like, so now the new guidelines are every three years and nobody under the age of 24. I was like, oh my God, because I have been getting PAPs since I was 15. Since I was 15, so I was like, okay. Still should get a physical exam every year, though. Mm -hmm. Um, Here's the thing, guys. I didn't know that. Didn't know that. Uh, nobody said anything to me when I called to schedule it. I was actually in a panic because I got one last, in January of last year, and it's April. Late April this year. So I was like, oh my god, I've lapsed over a year. And now it's just like, it doesn't even fucking matter. But also... Um, I asked for birth control. I was a big, brave fucking dog. I was a big, brave dog about it, okay? I asked for birth control. And usually, I was getting birth control from my GP, but I kind of ditched him as a doctor because every time that I saw him, he was like, hey, take Ozempic. And I was like, bitch, not on your life. Not on your life could I afford Ozempic. Um, anyways, um, uh, he was like, No. <laughs> blatantly no um I think you need to see an endocrinologist and I will get you a referral for one but I think you need to see an endocrinologist I think you need to see a doctor that can do more for you than I can do um we need to see if you just need birth control or if there's something more going on that we need to do more for you than just that uh but the thing that kind of like irks me a little bit and like I am thankful for my doctor for giving me a referral for a specialist like I'm very thankful for that um, I'm thankful that he cares and everything like that. But, like, I brought the same shit up last year, but I did not ask for birth control. I didn't ask for birth control. I got that from my GP. And he did blood work on me, and he did an ultrasound on me, 
but never referred me to an endocrinologist. He was like, I, I want you to see an endocrinologist. I want you, I want a complete workup of everything, of everything before I toss a birth control pill at you and just hope that it'll fix everything. He was telling me you might need more hormone therapy than that. And also you might need help with your polycystic ovarian syndrome in the form of like metformin or something like that. And an endocrinologist would be the one to talk to about that. So I'm like, I'm 50% upset that I didn't get to get my birth control because I like knowing when I'm going to get a period. I like that it helps with my hot flashes, all of that. But like 50% thankful that he referred me to a specialist, you know, it's just one of those things. And like a little bit, there's like a little bit of undertone here of like frustration because I did bring this up last year. I just didn't bring up um, any kind of birth control or anything like that. But then also like, what if he's like, okay, well, your GP gave you birth control and uh, without doing a workup. So maybe I should, you know what I like? I don't know. Maybe he like took offense to another doctor doing like his job or something and you can get you can get your birth control from your gp just fine like obviously like obvious but i don't know like he he referred me to an endocrinologist i'm waiting for them to call me oh my god that hair on my th on my neck is is growing back that's my that's my uh karma hair i used to make fun of my mom for always having a chin on her or a chin hair and I have a neck hair that grows back. No matter how many times I pluck it, wax it, shave it, the bitch always comes back in the exact same spot. But that, I, I did not expect that appointment to go the way that it did. I did not expect to get there and have a nurse look at me and say, oh, by the way, you're not getting a pap smear. We don't do pap smears yearly now. And I did not expect to ask my gynecologist for birth control and be told, no, you need to see a specialist for your hormones. But I guess that's, we got to start somewhere. We got to start somewhere. He also asked me if I ever had a mammogram and I was like, no, um, I'm 34. I'm almost 35. And he's like, well, within the next couple of years, we're going to have to look into you getting one. I just want to hold it off as long as possible. That sounds horrible. But yeah, that's what's happening. I had my exam. <laughs> I had my look, looked at it, exam squished around on my on my scooties exam uh talked to him about my birth control and, and he said he wants to make sure that um birth control is, su is sufficient and he told me like because i told him i said i haven't had birth control in over a month and he said that's great because when you see this doctor they're gonna want to do like a workup of your hormones like in their natural state not being influenced by anything and a birth control would be an influence on that but still though guys i would love to not be sitting around sweating my ass off all the time i just that would be so great i have a meeting at two and it is now noon and Epps just went to the gym. And then as soon as he gets home, I got to swing by the school and pick Mr. D up and then go to the meeting. It's not, it's a meeting with his legal advocate. We check in with her every two weeks and uh, maybe then I can come home and fucking go to sleep. As soon as I got home, Epps was in the kitchen making lunch and I had to run a copyright check on um, the video that I took of me getting ready to make sure that none of the music that you can hear me listening to was gonna get me a strike or a claim. So, I just wanna lay down. I just wanna lay down. All right, Epps is gonna be home any minute now and then I'm gonna go get Dee and we're gonna go to this meeting and I'm gonna start a new vlog. But listen, I have one last thing to bitch about and I'm gonna bitch about it. We had this discussion yesterday earlier in this vlog. I am not paid enough to not be, you know, feral, you know? Um, anyways, anyways, listen, EA announced like almost a month ago that the Bloom and Room kit, which is a little $5.99 decoration kit, was going to be free in the upcoming weeks. And everybody had this theory, oh, it's going to be free for Earth Day because, you know, Earth Day and it's plants. It wasn't. Earth Day has come and gone and it was never free. Trust me, I kept refreshing the shit to see like checking everywhere, like looking at all of my favorite fucking Sims YouTubers, checking their Instagram, everything to, to see if they had announced that it was free, you know, and it wasn't. So I have this theory. I have this theory. Every time that EA does a big 
Sims 4 update and it breaks everyone's game. They throw something at us to try to pacify us. Like a free pack, like a free kit, like a huge sale where everything is marked down 60%. The last big update that they did broke most people's games. And what did they do? They had a sale. And they also gave away my backyard stuff for free. So I have a theory they're planning a big update that's going to potentially break everybody's shit. So they're like, let's just throw the Bloom and Room cat at them. So they'll shut the fuck up. That's just my theory, though. Because if it wasn't free for, for Earth Day, it's probably going to be that. Anyways, anyways. Every time they announce something's going to be free, I just clench my asshole and be prepared to not be able to play my game for a few days. Anyways, I'm going to end this vlog because I have to go get him and start a new one because it's getting too long. And also, I need to do something about my fucking win. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.